Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Road to Pro Pro Clinic. I've got to start off before going into anything that I have to apologize for not uploading recently. I've been running into a whole lot of issues and my grandmother also passed away, so I've actually been out of town kind of dealing with things. So I do apologize. Um, life just kind of got away from me. But we're back and videos are coming home to the channel. I want to start off by thanking Mr. Albert Santa reached out to me about another episode of Road to Pro Clinic. This one is going to be from 2017 Texas State. I'm real excited about this one. I had to do a lot of actual editing of the video that was sent over to me because it was shaky. But you'll probably see how I did that in the actual video. So this is a match from Open Doubles of Texas State 2017 between Albert Santa and Jason Pitts versus Joseph Majeski and Jared Wilkins. Hope I got the names right, guys. Never could spell well. So, this match, I really want to get into. When he messaged me, he felt like he fell apart. Maybe he did, and maybe he didn't. Maybe he just got outplayed. I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to jump into the match and find out. Again, everybody, I do want to apologize for not uploading recently, but uh, I'm going to have a whole lot more videos coming your way. I'm going to be doing foosball videos and fishing videos very often, multiple times a week again. Uh, I'm going to be working on a couple different series, so hopefully we will have all of that back in action. Let's jump into the match. All right, we're going to try something a little different today, guys. Normally, I just let the match play out as I talk over it. Today, I'm doing it a little different. This way I can pause, kind of play around with it, and show you guys, step by step, what I'm referring to. In this match, we have Santa and Pitts on the right versus Majeski and Wilkins on the left. I'm not sure who's in which position on the left, but I do know Pitts is playing forward on the right and Santa is playing goal on the left. Mr. Albert Santa is the one that contacted me about this, so thank you so much to him. Oh, went a little too fast. And here we go into the match. Starting right off the bat, looks like Pitts got the ball. <clears throat> Tries to execute a wall pass, swings either a little early or a little late. Usually it's a little late when the ball chips like that after hitting the wall. Ball gets a weird spin to it. Tries to shoot a pull kick from goal. Ooh, a little fast from Santa there. You want to, as a goalie, guys, you really want to take your time. Do not rush your goalie shots. You want to give your forward a little bit of time to get acclimated to what's going on. Gives him time to uh, to figure out what you're trying to do. Miss executed lane pass there. Santa sets up, and again under two seconds shoots. Really, just one second sets up the ball and goes. Take your time back there, my friend. Here, see, he's taking his time, but he's not touching the ball here. This is going to be probably a pull kick, would be my guess. Oh, okay, goes for a pull. But you want to be touching the ball when you shoot. Sets up. Oh, sets up again. One, oh, one, two. Really fast shooting. Pitts tries to grab the ball, but turns it over. Good wall pass along the wall here. Oh, he's shoot, setting a rollover. Ooh, a little bit of a misexecution hits the wall. May have gotten a piece of it. Good attempt on the brush down wall pass. I like that. Good clear. Again, really rushed by Pitts. Take your time up there on that forward game, guys. Take your time. Get a good read. I mean, given I'm one to talk, I do play fast. However, there is a time and a place for it. Goalie likes bump shots so far. You can kind of tell by how he's offset from the ball. He's not really touching it much. When he scoots in to try and touch it is when he's going to shoot a pull shot or something. On goal, Santa blocks it. Ready protocol. Sets up the ball. Again, shoots very quickly. Good clear. Hits off the goalie and goes to his forward. All right. A little bit too much recoil there, my friend. No need for the recoil, but good shot nonetheless to the pull side. Good steal. Sets up for the rollover again. Good middle. Took his time. Good read. Not a ton of time, but a good 
good amount of time there. Miss execution. Tries to brush down. Tries to brush down again. Tries to brush up. Looks like... So, right now, Pitts is going up against what I, I would call <clears throat> a not strong brush. The, the brush up is slower. The brush down is definitely faster. Oh, no. Slight mis-execution costs him and gives it a turnover. Good little bit of a rock here. Wow, great block by Santa. I mean, kind of a tell, but uh, on the forwards part, but still. Tries to go back against Santa with the block. Turns over, still goes back to him. Wow, great D. So far his D's been super solid. Giving this forward a lot of shot opportunities. Not touching the ball. Gets spiked. Okay, well, let's talk about this for a second. There's a few things that have happened here that make this really bad. Okay, first and foremost, sets up, okay? Not touching the ball. Look right here. Not touching the ball here. You want to be touching the ball if you're going to be shooting a pull shot, okay? This is why this happened is because he's not touching the ball, specifically this this mistake. Now, they're up 2-0. I get the idea of taking a risk shooting in front of the goal, but this is a true misexecution, not a mistake on where he wanted to shoot. Now, I see what he's aiming at. He's aiming through right here to try and spray off into this long hole, which is definitely there. No question there. Starts to shoot, still not touching the ball. Now look at his grip. Go back. Now watch the grip here. Look. Removes his hand, resets, because he's about to shoot. Huge tell number two. Now, he's about to shoot. He starts to get close to the ball. Big tell. Okay, everything says he's about to shoot here. No question. What happens is, and it's very, very fast, so let's try and slow it down a little bit. Now, he slightly misexecutes. The ball sprays. If he hit it where he wanted to, it would have gone this way, right through here. It was a slight misexecution. That's why this ball comes off to the edge here. He does follow through exactly as he's supposed to. Watch, this guy, I bet, even slides over. Did. The guy was right where it was supposed to be. For defensive purposes, he did everything right, except for the misexecution. Defensively, correct. Offensively, incorrect. This is why he got spiked right here. Now, because of that spike... Ooh, great wall pass. I expected him to rush the pass, but it was a great wall pass nonetheless and goes through. All right, pull side gets blocked. I think I know why. Oh, not far enough back. All right, sets up the ball. Now watch. Right here. Look at how far off to the side he is. I bet he stays over there too. Yep. Look at that. Right here. He's offset on the ball. Everything about this says I'm going pull side. Still says I'm going pull side because he's offset on the ball. Still there. Then shoots pull side. I've talked about this in other videos before, guys, about not having tells. A good, clean rock for this rollover would net him dramatic, dramatic better results. Like, it's crazy. Good, smooth rock is what you want on a rollover. This little... Oh, wow, great block on the push kick. A good, smooth rock is going to allow for you to not have tells. That's why that shot was blocked. Another great block by Santa. I could be saying his name wrong. If I am, I'm super sorry. Albert, I'm going to probably just start calling you Albert, because I can say that. Taking his time. Good game plan from this goalie here. Shoots another pull kick. He likes to shoot these bump shots. No, don't rush your shots. You've been shooting pretty okay. Don't change the game plan now. Offset, so he's not touching the ball. Misexecutes, or maybe gets a little bit of a block. I think it was partially misexecuted. Sets up. Okay. I don't like the, the choice of option there, but um, I get why you did it. But you definitely need to start taking more time. Hold. I see a little, a little issue here. 
See this hand right here on the right for Albert? This should be more flush. He's clearly angled back more. He's not s over top of the rods where he should be. Like, look at how their arms are almost straight up and down. This could be because Pitts looks like he's a pretty big dude and could be pushing Santa back a little bit, but it still shouldn't matter. I've played with guys like Terry Moore and just, like, in pickup games and even other stuff. Um, even in a tournament I played with Terry once. Uh, we won a little Chicago thing here. And... He, Terry's a big dude, and he didn't force me back as far as Santa is here, Mr. Albert is. So you don't want to be leaned back. This is going to cause a lot of uh, slop and stuff to kick in. Uh, I haven't watched this match yet, so I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm betting because of this, at least a couple slop are going to go in. You just don't have the, a quality reaction time. You can't move the guy the way you need to to get the blocks. All right, tries to shoot a little straight little push shot there, and then goes into a push kick. This goalie right now loves to do bump shots. Take your time. Do not rush this. Rushed. Ooh, you're lucky the forward dropped it there. Again, rush shot, but it does go in. That was the shot he was going for a couple balls ago where he got spiked, in my opinion. Uh, I could be wrong, but to me it looked like that's what he was attempting to do before. Great block on the five bar shot. Another great block from the five bar shot. Good stuff. Again, another rush st shot. It cost you a turnover. No. You can't do that. Oh, a pull kick. What? Oh, okay. Great block. Wow. Albert blocking everything. It goes again with that little brush down pass. It does get his forward the ball. Good clear. Ooh. Recoil. Loves the recoil. Good push side, though. Again, you got to get better on the rock. Just sit and rock on that ball. Big sweeping brush down. Oh, shoots a pull shot. Hold up. Time. There are so many things going on here. All right. First and foremost, look at this grip. Right here, this tells you he likes to try and shoot long pull shots with power. Why do I know that? The forward here his hand is on the very end of the rod and the handle because of that it means he loses a touch of accuracy but gets a little bit more power because it's easier to shoot a long pull shot and a three-quarter pull shot from right there but much harder to shoot a straight shot the ball is back behind the dots almost lined up with the dots again this says he can probably shoot a tuck he can probably he probably has a decent long the guy's angled back. I'm almost willing to bet anything this first shot's along. And it is. Oh, but still rags in. No. I, I said it before. It was gonna, A rag was going to happen because of the stance here. Good lane pass, but rushed. Got to take more time. He keeps getting quicker and quicker. Again, with the recoil. Very into it. <clears throat> I like I like that he's so into it. Don't recoil on your opponents, guys. It's just, it's not cool. I get it. Totally get it. It's just not cool. All right. Goes for the brush up. Slight mis-execution. Oh, no. All right. That, just for the record, guys, how he dropped the ball there. He got a great steal. Kind of panic. It's like a little panic thing. Um, you know, oh, no, I have the ball. That's because of nerves. A little bit. Okay. Ball's forward, so you kind of want to watch. Yep. It means the long is going to spray more. It should be quick, but spray. Um, and you got to watch out for a straight, but he will not have a tuck. Good bounce off the wall pass. Hoo-wee. All right. He's looking to get the ball set up. Off. Oh, 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 oh. Big boo-boos. Big boo-boos here. He's not touching the ball. Okay. So now, the ball is forward a little bit. Okay, so, and he's not touching it. This means a couple things. One, straight becomes easier. He's not touching the ball. Two, the long, almost give it to him. It's going to be tougher for him to execute a good long. So this could end up going three-quarter. Um, it'll probably have to spray because it's a little bit more forward. Just saying.
takes his time, makes the pass. Of course, when you take your time, you read the defense, the passes go through. Ooh, I... He thinks that went in. I guarantee they don't think that went in. Okay, I want to see what happens before I make my judgment calls here. Okay, he's saying it went in. And that it wrapped around. Okay. They're thinking it didn't go in. And then he's saying to play it. All right, we're going back. Let's see who's right here. Is he right? All right, he's about to shoot. Man, that is tough. Oh, it's his recoil. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is the reason you don't recoil. Right here, guys. Right here. Okay, if you can, you guys can slow this down even more from where I was watching it. You can do that in HD, but watch this. I got to try and do this as quick as I can. I apologize. But, okay, he shoots. There goes the ball. You can see it clearly in the middle of the goal here, which means it definitely hit this post. You can't really confirm or deny if the ball went in. It's impossible to see with how quick this is and the quality of the video. However... Watch his hand right here. He is now about to hit the wall. Okay, I bet this ball, instead of going in the goal, comes across. There it is. The recoil forces the ball out. Here's the ball right here. Forces the ball out of the goal. This costs him a goal right here. Straight up. That recoil cost him that ball. 100%. No question. Says to play on. This is why you don't recoil, guys. I said it before in this match, before it even happened. But this is why you do not recoil. That right there. Good pull kick. Woo! That was scary. Do not rush. Good. Taking his time. Makes the pass. Every time he's made and taken his time, he's done really well. Wow, good pull side. Good, deep pull side to the... S Very nice. Took his time. Good block. Takes the way takes the ball away. A little bit of a panic moment. Mis-executes. But he rushed the pass and then tries to rush again. Oh, he got lucky! He did take a little swing at it. That's something that you can't teach, guys. Those little swings at the ball. Oh no, again with the rushing. Whoa, that takes guts. He sat on that wall the whole time. That was gutsy. Very, very gutsy. Good kill from the goalie over there. Setting the ball up. Wow, he's going to shoot banks. I like it. Offset from the ball. He's not touching the ball. It's a good shot for not being for not touching the ball. Oh, don't lose it. He lost it. Every time he rushes, he does not get the ball really. Wow, very close. Oh no, and another rag. <sighs> I hope that doesn't come a trend. Um, mostly because of his stance. Stance is key there. Oh no, that was because one, he rushed, two, oh, didn't go back far enough. Mm. Let's just get to where that was, here we go. Yep, thought so. Look at the way, so he sets the ball up, okay? Look. Almost fully committed already. He's on the left side of the ball. Fully committed. Wants to go pull side. Big hitch. The goalie goes to block it, but never comes off the pull side. Bigger hitch. Makes it harder to pull to hit the pull side because of how far he is. Comes back. 
hitches again. But, I mean, the whole time, he's trying to look like he's going pull side. It was a mis-execution because he didn't get any kind of rock motion going, but... Um, and it's clear that he likes this little hitch style to make them react. Um, but he's either A, not taking enough time with it, or B, not having a clean enough full stroke motion. So he really needs to, to practice rocking across the ball, not throwing those hitches as much. You can still have hitches, but this isn't the time or place for him. Tries to go push side. Big hitch. He's going to shoot a bank. Look at all this extra motion. Oh, yeah. There it is. Trying to get you to sucker out of the bank. Oh, no. Don't try and shoot push or uh, five bar shots now. I know you're down 5 1 looking for points, but that is, a, that is not the time or the place. Goes for it again, but gets blocked. Don't go right back to it, especially if you miss execute it. I get the you want to execute it part and you think it's still there, but these guys have been been ready for it big push kick good block picks the ball up at his five bar oh he didn't have his guy forward enough nice little block there lets his goalie get a piece of it looking for that sweeping pass again nope Switches to a push shot. Good shot on goal. Took a little bit more time, but definitely would like to see even more time if possible. Another pull kick. <clears throat> Big, heavy, open-handed pull kicks, guys. Really want to look... Oh, you got to cradle that one. You're down 4-1. You need a point. Nice, taking a little bit more time now. Definitely think Albert needs to work on some five, or just some general ball control. Um, his defense is super solid. Needs some pa some more shooting options, need a couple more passing options, um, and definitely needs to take way more time. Way too fast on his shooting. Nice way to steal the brush down. Bringing it across. Ooh, a little bit of a mis-execution there. Got away with one, and then quick shoots to get a point. Um, again, you're really starting to shoot way too fast, pass too fast. Um, the match is getting very intense. I get it. You want to stay in it. That's kind of your forward's fault there that that ball came back to the opposing forward. Um, but you did it way too fast, so at the end of the day, I have to blame Albert on that one. Ball's forward. So you want to force him all the way out long. Good middle. They're going off to talk about something. I have no idea what. Um, if anything, the whole thing should be calm down. Play slower. Okay. This is going to tell us a lot. So look, ball's forward. He's no longer touching the ball now. He's off of it. Adjusting his grip. Adjusting his grip. Can't execute the long there. Misexecutes because he's not touching the ball. Again, not touching the ball. Misexecutes again. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You want to be touching the ball when you do these things. Nice. See? Takes his time. Perfect. Great start to this game. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Why would you... Sh your oh, your rollover isn't working just fine. There is no reason to change... Goalie shoots a, a bank shot. Good shot on goal. But there is no reason to change their great clear. Again, it was rushed. No! Oh, no. This is a nerve situation for sure. That is nerves. Nerves gets you to play fast and not your game style. Um, oh, what is he doing here? Yep, looking for the brush up. Little seven stroke. Okay, Albert's taking a little bit more time here. Very nice. Almost dangerous mistake there, but you get the ball back, so no harm, no foul. Good clear. Off of their five bar, right to your forwards. Ooh, off the wall. Like it. Take your time. Taking his time. Miss sec Okay. Gets blocked. That's not the end of the world, but you took your time.
This forward brush series doesn't go super deep, so you're going to want to just stay in front of the ball with him. If you stay in front of the ball and watch for his big brush down, he does have a big brush down, but his brush up is, is definitely struggling a little bit. Um, you want to try and stay in front of that ball as much as you can. Races up, block the down. Oh, what a great pass. Pitts picks it up. Uh, he took his time a little bit. Gets blocked. That's not the end of the world. Whoa. Five bar shot. Returns the favor. Goes up 1-0. You should not get into this rush style of play. Yep. Now everybody's starting to rush around the table a little bit. Panic is setting in. Oh, that's the Billy Chip. That shot is super dangerous. It chips across the table, up towards the goal. Very difficult to block. He rushed, pat, rushed shot, gets stolen. You do not want to rush those shots if you're a goalie. This is his sweet spot. Yep. <laughs> That's the sweet spot for him. He was touching the ball. He was only going long. That was good. It was actually slightly misexecuted, but he took his time. The pass was there. It was just slightly misexecuted. Yeah, that slow down there. He was looking for the bank. Tries to sweep the ball out. Forward lucky to pick that up. All right, let's see here. Looks like he might be touching the ball here. Yep. He's got a decent three-quarter, a good long. Really want to be careful. I'm not seeing a straight yet. The ball is a little bit forward, so he could do it. There's the middle. Taking his time. Slight mis-execution. Squibs up a little bit. Rushes the wall pass. Caroms. Oh, no! This is because of the stance and positioning. You want to be over top of the table. Even if it hurts you for a little while at first, you are now down 3-1. to one. Um, Positioning to block that slop is going to be key. He's blocked most shots. I mean, really, truly most shots. The only goals that have really gone in so far on him are slop shots. Uh, rags, whatever you may want to call them, but shots that have ricocheted or angled or... Something along those lines off of a guy. Um, wow, good time. Okay, took his time, did everything right. Uh, that's what you're supposed to do when you take your time. You'll look, you pr you know, that's, that's the game plan. If he'd do that every time, this would already be over, for sure. Not touching the ball. This means possible mis-execution. Oh, oh, adjustment. Still not touching it. Does come in. Looks like he might be touching it now. No, he wasn't. See that mis-execution? It hit the wall there. Very good attempt at a pass. He does end up with it on the forward. Not a clean pass, but he does get the ball. Slingshot. Huge risky shot at down two to three. That is a big no-no. That is the time to shoot one of your better shots. One of the best shots you've got in the bag. And a slingshot is not that time. Everybody watches Tony and Billy far too much. And Ryan. Good shot. Great block by Albert. Do not rush this one. This is a big point. Not terribly rushed, but the wrong shot. Um, and very unfortunate as well. A lot of a lot of unlucky things happened right there. But Slop went in because of the because of the stance, how he's got his hands. He wants his hands to be more up and down. Um, you know, his second hand shouldn't be kind of underneath like that. He needs to be kind of more over the table uh, opposed to, it looks like his body is um, adjacent to the way the table is. Set up. Goes long. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the story of it right there. Truth be told, it's not because they didn't play well or they didn't have the pieces of the puzzle. They had everything they needed to win that match. 
but because the <clears throat> because they started rushing because of the little things you know not perfect stance rushing shots not shooting a great shot at certain points cost them a match when albert contacted me about this he said he thought they fell apart i actually wouldn't say that's true you went away from the game plan. If you go away from the game plan, that's when you think you fall apart. Falling apart is really when you choke. But in this situation specifically, you didn't choke. I mean, maybe you did, but not really. You know, Albert's stance caused Slop to go in because he's not in the proper ready stance. Go watch my video. The ready stance to get that ball and dig it out when it's really going to be bouncing off of things. The forward, Mr. Pitts there, rushed passes and shots far too often trying to steamroll his opponent. That game plan was not working. Should have gotten away from it almost immediately. Needed to stick with the game plan. Solid passing series, taking your time. Solid shot selection by taking your time. Highly suggest Pitts to practice the, a big smooth rock. Watch my rollover tutorial for that. Big smooth rock, okay? Takes away that tell. You're going to get blocked a whole lot less because of no tell. Albert, highly suggest taking a lot more time on your shot. I want you to count to almost eight seconds every time. You don't take very long to get set up. So once you have a push or pull shot selected, I suggest a pull. Your pull is significantly better. Set up a series. You've got multiple sliders that you can work with. Short, middle, long. I've saw, I watched you shoot all three of them. Not all of them went in, but I watched you shoot all three. Off of that, have two passes. A lane pass that goes straight down the table from where you've set the ball up, and a brush kick pass. You just br bring the ball down and let it angle towards the wall uh, when you hit it with your second guy. With those five options, you can be very dangerous. You don't need much more. You really don't. The lane pass is going to keep them honest. The three shots on goal is going to keep them confused. And then the pull kick pass is going to be your zone breaker. Those are the only five things that you need to be successful as a goalie. Okay? When you change your stance and commit to it, you're going to find a whole lot more slop being blocked and not going in. Everybody, I really want to thank you so much for watching this episode of Pro Clinic. I know I've been gone for a little while, but more videos are on the way. I've got a bunch of fishing and foosball videos all planned. I've just been really struggling to get them done, I'm not going to lie. But the goal is to definitely get them back in action. Again, everyone, I'm very sorry that I haven't been posting. I did explain why, uh, but I'm back, and the videos are going to be coming in again. Thanks everybody so much for watching. As I said, if you want, please do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. It does me a huge, huge favor. Also, the like button helps me get better um, placement when people are searching on YouTube. Guys, as always, thanks for much, so much for watching, and happy foozin'.